I'm Anil Kumar and let me first thank all my viewers for watching my videos and asking excellent questions. Now as you know most of my videos are in response to the subscribers and let me take up those two questions which are very interesting. One is to find square root of a number which look like a perfect square for example 64, 36 and the second question was how to find square root of numbers where we have odd number of numbers. So let me write uh, I mean odd digits right let's say 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3 there are 3 digits here so these are odd number of digits. So we'll take up these two examples and I hope that helps in understanding or better understanding of this method. Now first thing is whenever you want to find square root of any number you need to group them in twos right so that is the first step so grouping in twos is the first step group in twos right that means set of twos right now the confusion is how do we group from left or from right so the answer is from right that is to say if we have four numbers start from the right side groups of two so that is the first group of two here is the second one well in this case it does not make difference that is special when you have odd number of digits so group from right this is the group 34 which is a set of two numbers group it and then you are left with one so that is how we get two different types of questions to work with and such a relevant question from my subscribers really thank you for that okay now let's start with the process of finding the square root how do we find square root of a number which is any number for that matter here it is 30, 30, 64 36 so the steps are you have to write a number which can go into the first group in this case first group is group of 2 64 and as you know 8 times 8 is 64 so we can write 8 times 8 64 take away that is the normal division process bring down the second set not just a number so it is 36 in our case and continue with the process of square root since it is a special case of division I am not changing the sign to kind of division I am writing that square root repeated square root right now the next step is we have to double the number in the quotient so 8 times 2 is 16 right so we'll write 16 here and look for a number which can go into same number on quotient and the divisor which can go into the number which we have here the dividend in this case 36 if I write any number here it is going to be greater than 36 so we have to place 0 right so 80 0 correct times 0 will give us 0 0 and when you take away you get 36 as the remainder since we have no other numbers we can always place a decimal and a set of two zeros and extend the process whenever you put decimal in the quotient also you'll place a zero right and now let's continue with our step that is twice the quotient which is 160 in this case right so 80 times 2 160 right so second step as I am doing here is you have to do twice quotient right so write twice quotient and then divide then square root division let me write this as square root division right that is you have to place the same number in divisor and in quotient right so I'll bring down two zeros here this time right which are after decimal so we are now looking for a number which should be placed in the divisor and in the quotient after decimal which can get the answer right so in this case if I write 2 here then 2 times 6 is 12 2 and 1 so 2 can work out right so we can write 2 here in both remainder in both divisor and quotient and continue with the process 2 times 2 is 4 2 times 0 is 0 2 times 16 is 32 so we do get some remainder 
which is 6, 9, 3, right? You can continue with this process by placing two more zeros and so on, correct? But anyway, we do have an answer here. We can write down that the square root of 6436 is equal to 80.2. This answer is correct to one decimal place, right? Let us figure it out. We can use the calculator and check square root of 6436 is equal to 80.22. So we are absolutely correct. That's how you do it. Okay, so let's take the next example, which is we have odd number of digits. We have already learned that we have to group from the right side. So 34 is the first group. We are left with a single digit number 2. So we could do 1 times 1, which is 1. Remainder is 1. Bring down 34, right? Follow the square root division. That is, multiply this by 2. Look for a number which is same. So you could try, let's say, 4. Well, you could also try 5. So let's try 5 here. We have to write 5 in both divisor and in quotient. Now multiply. 5 times 5 is 25. 2, 5 times 2 is 10. And 2, 12. Now that gives you, uh, you can borrow, take away, you get 9. If you want to go further, you have to place decimal with two zeros. A decimal in the quotient also. Bring down these two zeros. Continue the process. Twice 15, right? Twice 15 is the number 30. Correct? Now, next number here. If I put 3 here, then what do I get? 3 times 3 is 9. So we get 909. Slightly higher. So I have to put 2, right? So I have to put 2. So let me place 2 here. And then we get 2 times 2, 4, 6. And we do get a number dividing this 6, 10, 9, 8, take away 6, 2. You can continue two more zeros. That should be close to 9, next digit, right? But since we are just understanding the process, let me terminate our division, square root division at this point and write down the answer, which is square root of 234 is equal to approximately 15.2 to one decimal place, right? Let us check this also. So we are doing square root of number 234, which is equal to, in decimals, 15.29. Very much the answer which we expected, correct? So I hope with this, you completely understand this special process of division, which can help you find square root without calculator. I'm Anil Kumar. If you like, you can always subscribe and share my videos. And don't forget to ask questions. Thank you and all the best.